Hey guys, um, today we're going to be doing a border pattern. Um, I'm just going to use this V stitch square just as my sample for this border. Um, to start with, you just want to, um, I mean, you don't have to, but I always like to start by putting an extra row of stitches all the way around my work just to, I think it just finishes it off nicely. Um, so I'm going to do that now and I'm just going to attach my yarn. I'm just going to use um, a white yarn and you've probably learned by now that my personal preference is to tie it on and then I know it's not going to go anywhere. Um, so I'm just going to work all the way around my work and I'm actually going to do half trebles um, or that's half doubles in the US. You could do any stitch you want if you want to just do um, single crochet double or double crochet um, or you could obviously do trebles. You could literally do anything you like but I'm just going to go around um, and do half trebles for this stitch. So I'm going to just pull my yarn up and I always just do a little chain one to secure. Now I'm going to move on to my half trebles and to do a half treble you're going to yarn over and insert and yarn over and pull up and then you've got three loops on your hook and you're going to yarn over and pull through all three. Um, Obviously if you're just doing a single crochet board or a double if you were UK based um, then you don't obviously need to watch this bit, you can just skip ahead to the part where I actually start doing the shells um, but if you're not really sure then you can obviously just stick with me now. Um, I'm going to do another half treble into the next stitch. and the next and I'm literally just going to work all the way around doing my half trebles. So if you want to carry on doing that and I will meet you when you get to your first corner um, just to show you what you need to do in the corners to stop them from curling upwards. So I'll meet you again in just a minute. So I'm at my corner now and it doesn't matter what stitch you're doing, whether you're doing double, treble, half treble, you must make sure that you put at least three stitches into your corner space. If you only put one, it will make your work start to curl upwards and obviously we don't want that. So no matter what stitch you've chosen to do, you must do at least three. You can do one or two more if you really wanted to, but I find that three just takes you around the corner quite nicely and then you're ready then to carry on going as you were before. So I will meet you back now once you've gone around the whole of your project and then we will get started on these shells. Now for the purpose of the tutorial I'm not going to go all the way around. I've just done um, one section of it here and then around a corner so that we can go around the corner together. Um, but just for the sake of the tutorial I'm just doing a small section. So once you've gone all the way around your project you want to either if attach a new yarn or if you're carrying on obviously in the same yarn um, you can do. I'm just going to attach on again here and then I'm just going to insert my hook. So I've just pulled up my yarn and what we're going to do now, so we're in this loop here at the moment in this stitch here and we're going to skip this next one here and we're going to work into this stitch here. So you're in this one, you're going to skip this one and work into the top of this one. And make sure when you do work into it that you are going through the top of the stitch so that you get the V just here. And so into this stitch we're going to do five treble crochets. Now in the US that would be double crochet. So to do a treble you want to yarn over and then you're going to insert your hook into that stitch. Remember making sure that you catch the V and yarn over, pull up a loop. So you've now got three loops on your hook and you're going to yarn over, pull through the first two loops and then yarn over and pull through the last two loops and that is your first treble. So now you want to do four more all into that very same stitch. So yarn over and insert, and yarn over and pull up a loop. So you've got your three loops again 
and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's two now and we need three more. That's three. Four. And five. So that is five trebles into one space and you can see it makes a sweet little fan shape. And now we need to secure this down onto our work. We need to secure this long edge here down. We're going to miss, so you've worked all your stitches into this one and you're going to miss the next stitch and then work into this stitch here. And you're just going to do a slip stitch to bring that fan down. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on your hook as well and that will just pull it down nicely here for you. And so now to start your next fan, you are going to miss one again, so you're going to miss this next one, and then you're going to do five trebles into the next one along. So yarn over and insert after you've missed one, and do your five trebles again. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And then once again you're going to miss one and then slip stitch into the next one. So insert and slip stitch. And you're going to continue like that all the way along your work and then when you get to the corner it is exactly the same. You don't need to add anything in, you are just going to continue your fan all the way around. Um, and that is literally the pattern, you're just going to continue that five trebles and then sink, uh, slip stitch after you've missed one, miss one again, five trebles miss one slip stitch and you're going to do that all the way around. So I'll do a few more and I'll meet you back in a moment. So I've worked quite a few more shells now and you can see as it goes around it does look lovely. Now when you get towards um, the other end, so say obviously I, I've finished here because I've only done a, a small sample bit, but once you are coming back round to your other end um, you may only have say um, four stitches or three left and that's when you just sort of have to go by eye and think right well um, there's an extra stitch here at the end um, so this time I'm going to miss two stitches and then do my <clears throat> slip stitch into the one which would be at the base of where you started from um, or if you say only had three and you're having to just sort of squeeze it in a little bit you could not miss one at all and just slip stitch down straight into the next stitch. Um, it's just one of those things unless you count how many you do right at the very beginning to do your first section of your border it is pretty much impossible to know exactly how many you are going to end up with at the end but obviously you can just play around with it and you can usually work it so that it, it sits really nicely and nobody would ever know that you'd skipped two at the end instead of just one or whatever. But I really hope that you've enjoyed the tutorial and if you have please remember to give me a really quick thumbs up and I will see you again very soon for the next tutorial. But thanks guys for watching, see you soon, bye.